behind it. The happy boy -o. If Phoenix is pretty happy, he's just, it's getting so into winter. you said winter. Uh, follow the road, right? I said be careful of following the road because there's a lot of like wolves and mountain lions and stuff. We'll keep wandering in and out of it. Boo. What are you doing, Phoenix? I have a zombie walking at me. What do you think about that? How do you feel? Just big eyes and like little twitchy tail. All right. I'm okay with that. Yeah, Phoenix is like, it's getting colder. Um, because it's like, I don't know, it's autumn for Australia, but it is getting closer to like the coolness of winter some nights, right? And Phoenix is a very small cat, so he doesn't have a lot of like natural body fat and stuff to him, right? right. He's, um, it's always been a very Onto lean cat, bit of stretch. very small cat. And, uh, I don't know where they're breaking this, but, uh, because of that, he feels the cold really easily, uh, about here somewhere. The worst part is oh, I'll yeah, yeah. go back and grab some more stuff. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, oh shit. It's going to be a little know. bit quicker because ooh, I'm going to make a platform or something. Um, wait. Mate. It, does um, eating glass work? Yeah, eating glass will send you home. Um, Sweet. It just, I think it tries to warn you beforehand. They did fix it up. It does send you home. Uh, that guy is just, that wall is just not going to exist yeah, soon. Yeah, because once I put, um, my bedroll down at your base, go back to my old base and start grabbing stuff, but eat some glass to fast travel. Mm. Yeah, no, that, that will work if you got it. It's just hard to get broken glass these days. Um, it reaches a pretty side wax towel. Happily, once it stays laying down, no Viking. I'll find a way. It sounds like such a challenge to get out of that situation, honestly. You've got a couple of um, shops close by. I'll just go break out one of the windows. Uh, I should have shops nearby. Eat glass of fast travel. Never thought I'd hear that. That's what we do. Um, Grim, I think you'll be going past a bunch of houses first, but I have got like some kind of like industrial building across the road from me. As long as we don't break any of the shit on this, like, uh, my building facing side um, for aesthetic purposes. It should be oh, fine. Oh, shit. What? Uh, dire Wolf. Oh, fuck. Um, well, Grim's going home, obviously. Oh, two hits. Really? Did you bedroll? Yep. Oh, good. At least you got a bedroll this time. Oh, um, uh, yeah, 1K away. Oh, uh, yeah. Yeah, so, so, like, I'm literally not far away now. Atraxia, what we used so to do... So what is that 1K mark? Yeah, it is, because I had the same thing coming in. Um, and it will keep doing that until you get past it. Um, so we used to use glass, like, broken Ooh, glass in the game to fast travel back to our bed because we've got drop, drop nothing on death. So we would go and we'd fill up our inventory, fill up our toolbar. Yeah, no, that and, dire wolf just came out from the trees and it's just like, and oh. yeah, and it's like, yeah, no. Eat some glass and go home kind of thing. That's kind of how it worked for us. This is definitely reversed. I'll have to get rid of that. But, um, yeah, they changed it. They changed it at one point that you couldn't get glass. And then when they changed it again... They changed that you could get glass, but glass didn't kill you, which everybody agreed made no fucking sense because you're literally ingesting glass. You should die from it kind of thing. But, yeah, um, it's been a bit of work. They've been changing stuff around nonstop, but that's kind of how it's gone. So I'm going to put a couple of these up here. Just kind of, like, fix this in a little bit. Um... I don't think it's going to really help it. Like, we could put it so we've got one in the center. And that'll give us at least a door. Because my theory is if they break this, right, I should still be able to walk through the front, right? But they break it, they'll attack that particular door bit. So we'll see how this goes. I'm going to need something better than that there. I'm going to need, like, I don't think I can make a hatch or anything. But, um, look, this has got to be better than nothing, right? Oh, let's put that down. And what I'm trying to do is make the most amount of things that they have to break before they actually get access to the base. And then later I'll put in a um I'll put in a proper whatchamacallit thingy here. I'll put in one of those like I don't know, what are those uh drawbridge door things? Yeah, we'll have one of those. That'll be nice. 
But yeah, soon I'd like to remove all these. But the problem I've got is this will be really easy to break. And the other bit will be easy to break. So I've got to break these up now. Unfortunately, these are going to take a while. I'll tell you what, let's go upstairs, get her some food. <laughs> Try to open the door. Ugh. I also have to clear this place out too. I actually have not done that yet. So that's a little issue. And I might jump into the back area and actually put the bricks down in there first before I get too slap happy about this place. Um, let's see, food. I don't have much. Tell stops wagging, falls asleep, snuggling, wolf flush, exhausted from being tickled. I give you some soothing pats, Spike, and I hope you sleep well. That was an ordeal. If nothing else, it was genuinely fucking something. Um, let's see. What have I got? I've got a couple of those. Food. I want the pie as well because that will give me extra, extra food. It's getting there. Um, it's not a lot though. Maybe I can have, what else have I got? I need health. That is for sure. Um, can I put some of this shit back? Yes. I got another mallet too. This gives head pads for enduring. I think, I think Viken will be good for the tickles for a while, don't you reckon, Shadow? Because I reckon that will, uh, they'll, uh, sort out the, uh, desire for that for a bit. Mind you, I'm sure next time he sees you, he'll be just as enthusiastic, which is fine. Um, I just love the fact that, like, at some point there, though, you, like, tranced out and poor Viking got, like, the brunt end of it. It's just, like, the non-stop tickling. Oh, yeah. That should be Grim coming in. What do you think of the little double door thing I put in there, Grim? Um, annoying. <laughs> yeah, it is. But it's the only way to keep that gate in one piece at the moment. I'm hoping that if I can just have something that I can hear them fucking with before they actually get in, and then I can go and attack them and stuff. And then later on I'll put a drawbridge in there and it'll be fine. Oh, look at you. But yeah, I haven't broken into downstairs yet. If you want some help, I can open up that door. Uh, not yet. Um, I'm going to put down... Where'd he go? Went in that way somewhere. Uh, let me think. Oh, yes, that's right. I got the wooden boxes. Oh. Now, oh, there's where? a big F off bear right there. Where are you? Um, on the... Where are oh, you? What are you at the back? <laughs> this is the problem of having too big of a place. I'm kind of up. Give me a sec. Is there a bear at the back? Is that it? Uh, North East. There's a mountain lion outside, I'll tell you that much. Northeast. North just that way. Some stuff down and then I'm going to shoot it. Mm. Oh, you got a spare repair kit on you by any chance? Yeah, I do. I do. I'll come down to you. Yeah, that bear is a bit of a bit of an issue. Um, oh. Yeah, let me go around the back. There's also some boxes around the front side here for you too. Yeah, I don't. Yeah, I'm just putting the stuff into this uh, wooden box now. I'm um, trying to free up mm -hmm. some room, but. Alright, I'm coming over with the repair first. kit. Alright, hold on. Yeah, okay. Thank I've you. got more up top, so that'll be fine. Uh, do you want any help with that, or do you want to go that alone? Uh, that thing's nearly do... climbing shit. Yeah, yeah. I, I, I won't be able to do it solo. All right. Uh, where is it? Oh, there. Let Just let me, me know get... when you're ready. Yeah, I'm gonna try to get a sneak attack. <laughs> There's a zombie there making sneak attack. Get up here. Oh shit! I'm reloading. There we go. There we Do go. Do you, you want to cover me for a sec? I'll I'll harvest it. There'll be zombies coming in here. Yes. Yeah, so for some reason, over to the north where that fence line is, we get zombies, like feral zombies spawning there all the time. Probably like, have to clear it out. All right, let me, uh, I guess he made a hole in the front of the base. I'll need to go have a look at that. Um, there we go, they'll do for now. Let's put this up here since that bear was using this. It was a bit of a, bit of a oh shit ah, kind of I moment. Hear. I will hydrate, thank you, Scarlet. How you done tonight? Once I deal with these. Oh, yeah, you're feral. Man, I told you. There's like four of them that spawn over there every single day. 
and they just are slowly breaking down this fence. There should be, yeah, there's like two Oh, there's also here. a wolf there too. A, a wolf, huh? That's, that's not great. Also, Grim has very, very loud guns, I've just noticed. I've been doing this real quiet for a while and Grim's just arrived. So, uh, yeah, there'll be loudness. Let me go around and have a look. Yeah, I don't know why there are so many ferals that happen to land here. I'll just harvest it up. Um, but yep. there are a lot. Like, night and day, just be careful when you walk outside, okay? Especially at night. Because, yeah, this place is fucking mental. Oh. oh yeah. Okay, so I can hear. Do oh, too. they're over there. Oh, they're breaking the car. Boy, uh, I wanna. I, I I want to loot that bitch. Fuck off. Can't do Stop. that. Okay. Stop. Stop. Boy. No. Ah, oh, it's you too. Fucking hell. Yeah. You doing okay? Nice. Um, I don't know. I. What the. Oh, the dance off thing. That will actually help for a second. Hold on, let me loot this. Oh my god. I haven't actually been going outside my base much today because I've been trying to bring stuff between the two locations and trying to kind of clear out the zombies we've got in this area. I also want to see if this vending machine works. Just out of interest while everybody's preoccupied. -o. Give me. Oh, hell yeah, it does. Um, fuck yeah. Of that. Oh, I wanted that. Doesn't matter, I'll take energy drinks. I'll tell you what though, this yucca smoothie shit, it's good shit. Right? Um, Grim, I got you some coffee. I got you yep. some black strap. I'm Whoa. just quickly collecting all that stuff. Done. Yep. <laughs> I could just see Grim going over the fence. So Grim's just arrived. He's slowly moving his base in. And I'm infected again, goddammit. Let's find out where Grim put a hole in. Oh, geez, you two lurking out here. Hi. Hello, are you a bit feral, are you? God damn it, I walk outside my base for like five minutes and I, I smacked upside the fucking. I'm gonna die. Yeah. Doesn't matter, I'm going back inside anyway. I will put the boxes here. Yeah, I haven't gone outside much today, but every time I do, I keep dying. I need to get a better. I need to get a better pickaxe, so I need to find a place in town that sells those. Also, I, I keep fucking forgetting to run the ad that Grim requested earlier. Sorry for anybody that's about to get another ad. Uh, Grim actually requested it right at the fucking beginning of stream, and I keep fucking forgetting to run it. So we'll be back after this ad break. Get yourself a drink. Uh, go get some food, fresh air, whatever you got to get done. Just, you know, uh, I'll see you back in a few minutes. Um, I also got a book out of that too. All right, um, I was kind of hoping Grim might put some of his stuff inside, but I see this little temporary stuff anyway. Um, let me drop his coffee. There go, coffee for the man. And some shoddy shells, and I'll give him his thingies back. There we go, nice. If Prilica's going to forget, she ran the ad and run another one. I wouldn't be surprised. I think I, look, I either didn't run an ad earlier or I've run two ads now. It's one or the other. There we go. I got rid of that one. So, yeah, no. Look, he tried to oh. he tried to redeem it in the, like the first couple of seconds of stream, and the first couple oh, of yeah, like the first twenty minutes or so, I can't really run an ad until I get up to my just chatting part. And so we have to wait, and then I can't actually run the ad until it's run its first ad for some fucking reason. So, yeah, I've been waiting. It's only been two hours, but I got there eventually. Look, I either, if I can remember to do it later or if I can remember to refund the equivalent points, either is good. You know, I just don't like accidentally taking some of these channel points and then not having something do a thing, you know. I, I kind of feel that's a bit scungy. I know it's, like, kind of not, but I feel that way. I feel that way when it does it. I have stamina for this. Also, I put coffee in your temp boxes too, Grim. Yeah. I Thank you. I considered going through the base at night and clearing stuff out, but I don't think that's going to be super smart. 
Mm, not really. Yeah. Even if they're not going to detect us as easily and they're not going to be as difficult to kill, we're still going to have the issue of, you know, them being super fast. What's the, the candy man? Yeah. The coffee man. Blah. All right. Um... Yeah, as soon as I get this, like, front walkway dug out, um, I can take down all the boxes and we can just have, like, the solid wall and then I'll start upgrading the internal wall. It's just going to take me a bit. Until then, well, shit. Until then, it just kind of keeps the zombies out of here. But I think tomorrow morning what I'll do is I'll go for a run around town and see if I can find a tool place to raid. See if I can get a better pickaxe or something. What that level was your pickaxe? Ah, uh, two. Whoops. Yeah, same. Yeah. Um. So that will also get me out of my safe zone too. So that means you guys can like mess with me and stuff while I'm out and about somewhere because it won't be a quest, you know. It, it'd be messable. The other thing too, Grim, is I want to find the trader around here so then we could try to get you a fresh quest and get you a bicycle back since uh, my game kind of did that to you. Ah, there's no, I wouldn't worry about it too much. So for oh, any, that one was only 500. I know. There's a couple in here that are really, really easy. You see those ones that are divided in two? They're supposed to be easier. Um, yes, yeah, so a couple of weeks ago, my internet crapped out on us and kicked Grim and stole his bicycle. Completely deleted it off the earth. So that really sucks. Um, we lost Grim's bike and I've got no spawning vehicles as one of the few things that I've disabled on the integration. I've got pretty much everything enabled as default, except I think, I think spawning dogs is more expensive because I don't want dogs spawned on me. And not that that stops Triantha at all. <laughs> and, um, the other one is no vehicles and I don't know if I've got no robotics or whatever. But either way, the idea is it's supposed to kind of keep us at the same pace of like progression throughout the game as the sort of semi-normal one would. Like Grim likes going and doing his quests and getting his bicycles and, and stuff that way. And I like waiting for fucking ever and then just making a motorbike. Because I like to be difficult because it's me. Why wouldn't I? There we go. That will help me a little bit. I got an energy drink in here. Um, I also managed to buy some burn learning elixirs, so knowing that the vending machine across the road actually works, it's pretty awesome. So everything's on cooldown. Is that because it's night time? I mean, we're already in a safe zone, but I figured that that's the case. It also means we're not actually getting that many votes at the moment because I'm not going outside as often. I think you guys can do like one or two votes a day, give or take. I'm not too sure about that. I should look sometime. But yeah, I'll get out along here with some dirt and I'll fix up the parts that we've accidentally overdug. But if I can get this kind of secured, because the other thing too is I did say, so all these letters, they have to be removed. Um, every single one of them stops me from putting a block down. It's kind of stupid and I wish I didn't have to because I actually do like the waterworks thing. But what I might do is I might put the waterworks sign on the outside. So I already know what this shit looks like, kind of. I guess I can zoom back and I can have a close look at it, mark up my stream and come back and make it later. But yeah, I kind of want to do that. Um, so we have like waterworks on the outside of it. Imagine that waterworks fortress. By the way, that's what I'm making is just like, this is going to be a fortress. Last place I had to have a tiny home. Oops. Last place was a tiny home and that, oh shit. <laughs> that was challenging. Okay. Having to build a two-story mini house um, on the smallest land claim block that we could possibly have, which, by the way, also limited Grim to the smallest land claim block that we could also have. So it didn't just affect me. It also affected his game too. Um, this time we have, I think, the largest land claim block we could possibly have uh, on default game. And then from there, I'm just going to make this place into a fortress and see how that goes. I do because I love building. <coughs> Sorry. <coughs> Just die on air. Um, because I love building, like, I will have to do a whole heap of, like, mining and harvesting. And I'll have to um, 
I'll be in like here building stuff at times. So there'll be points in times where I'm outside for ages and there'll be points of times where I'm in here for ages. When I'm in here, it's safe. Like cooldowns are on safe. You guys can spawn like good things and accumulate like extra points or, um, you know, you can spawn on different crates and stuff. That's all positive stuff and get yourself extra points. So when I do go outside, you can really fuck with the game if you want. Um, this should be the last one of these. And then I should just be able to repair a couple of squares. And I'll be fine. Thanks for helping me with this, Grim. This is going to yeah. take me ages. Ah, it won't take that long. Yeah. I'm running out of stamina again. But yeah, no, it's not a problem anyway. Yeah, I just want to... Whoops. Oh, we got a hissy bastard out front. Yeah, I just wanted to get it fixed up uh, as soon as I could. Let's just take cobblestone. What the fuck? Uh, where are you? You're like here. Hey, mate. You're getting your gargle on, are you? Good dental Not hygiene. Well, there is a police officer strutting down the street, by the way. So we're going to have a spitter here soon. Uh, you see him up the road? Not that way. Back this way. Like down the main street there. He's like pretty far in there. Oh, okay. Let me get a sneak, uh, sneak attack on them. Yeah. Um, or I didn't know that we got rid of this bit here. Um, I'm guessing Grim must have accidentally removed that, but that's okay. Um, what Ooh, I was not liking that. Oh, there's another one near me. God damn it! <laughs> he this still open. has no idea. Uh, this is the only problem I've got Again. with uh, oh, oh, cohabiting oh. with like other yep, players is. The doors get left open. There's a big dude walking over here. He's just broken the stop sign. Yep. He's just across the road from the base. Give me a sec. Give me that. Give me that. I don't have much of that. Oh, I do have a little bit of clay. Um, I guess I don't have... No, not really. But if I can just make a little bit more of this, I can fix up maybe those couple of spots. Yeah, Grim's got, Grim's got it taken care of. Don't break... Oh, thank God. Somebody's breaking something out there. Aaron, let me see if I can fix up along here. Uh, so there's only like two or three. And that one and that one. There we go. Okay. I just want to fix them up because... Like um, yep, that's another copper. I was going to say, I'm like, oh, we should be getting some about now. It's also almost on night time too. Um... Alright. Alright, I'll have to go around the back too. I can do that at night, probably, from the inside. Oh, Grim's got something. Yeah, so I think what it is, is this yellow one's the uh -oh. top one? You right? Oh, he nearly, yeah, he nearly exploded on me. <laughs> yeah, lucky. Let's see, no, that's that part. There we go. Got it. Alright, I don't know how it's painted yellow. But I do believe that these things are individually their own. Just getting rid of the letters of the waterworks so I can finish putting the blocks up here. Yeah. I'm trying to figure out where that's. Oh, the truck over here. Yep. Oh, yeah. There's like a... T zombies that was, uh, that was caught on this truck. Yeah, there's a couple of trucks around the area I've just been kind of like leaving be, but I. I've tried to loot what I could, but they keep trying to destroy it. Ow, ow, ow. No, not yet. Oh, damn. Whoa, shit. Fuck, they're in here. Yep. <laughs> Probably would have been oh, a good thing happened. to have known about that. Hi, right, get out of here. No, no, no. You would have come in from there. So, I heard Grim just yeah. come back. This must have been Sorry. where he got out. Maybe? And pause move while sleep. I'm gonna hold on to your pause, Viking. While you sleep. Then oh fucking hell. I need to get me another silencer. I specifically need. So they came in from somewhere and I'm thinking, yeah. <laughs> exactly where I thought it was. Okay, I actually also need some more blocks. Hit me up with about that many, yeah. I don't think that's quite enough. Craft me a couple extra. I gotta get this closed up before we go to night time. 
so that we don't get any old zombies just waltzing on in here. And I can say waltzing on in here now because you see them do the fucking pirouettes every now and then, right? They actually do dance in here. But yeah. All right. This is going to be a bit of a problem. I'm going to put that there because Grim can rearrange that when he needs to. Did you put a concrete block? No, 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 no. No, no it's, it's all good. I'm just assuming things. Uh, I'm going to guess that's Grim's. Hearing something. You working on the panels too? Yeah. Oh, yeah. leave it to me. Yeah, I pretty much figure if I can just get these up, I'll just have like a little bit around the back that I've got to go fix up. And uh, there's more here. What the fuck else is here? What up? There's no way that that's. I'm hitting the yellow. I'm probably going to have to destroy the box. I'm not sure what this is, but I think it's an external panel paint. So I'm just going to remove it. And if it happens to be the whole block, fuck it, I'll just replace it. Because I think that might be what it is. But it's preventing me from putting something here. But, uh, yeah. So my goal is if I can get these fucking walls solid, um, then I can start working on fixing up the inside so then we can have two layers of solid wall, which gives us a far better chance of dealing with the fucking zombies that are lurking around nonstop and or bears, you know. Um, cause that's a friggin' issue. I don't know. If, I'm guessing I'm taking out the wall and not the panel. But it won't let me get the yellow. Does that hydrate? I will coo. Yeah, I can help coo. Um, I think I'm just taking out. Yes, I am. Oh my god. How do I take out that? How I'm strong just is that it? High. Um, come have a look. Grim, have a look at this. Yeah, yeah, I can't hit it either. I don't know what to do with that. Um, yeah, no, welcome in, Kuro. Uh, just, I'll get the zombie. It's helping themselves to our base. Where are you? You are... Yeah, maybe? Hmm. Hi, mate. Try from the... You dead? Inside. Yeah, I'm going to have to. Oh, man. Oh my god. Oh, it's night time. There's, there's chickens and there's feral zombies and all sorts out here. Bastards. Alright, let me get this reloaded because I'm betting he's not the only one that's going to come and service this spot. Alright, come on. No, 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 mate. Come back here. Whatever you think you're doing, not doing it quietly. A chicken can live to see another day, for now. Alright. Well, leave that. Let's go back to whatever the fuck this problem is that we've got. Aesthetics. It's, uh, it's something. How do I fix this? Um, yeah, I'll, I love how this is actually leaving stuff behind it. Uh, don't you willaloo me. <laughs> <laughs> I was reading that when I came around. I'm like, man, that's a really weird shadow. Fucking hell, Grim. <laughs> Fucking hell. You have, like, the greatest troll, you know that? All right, let me try from the inside. So I did put a couple of panels in here. Uh, also, just be careful. There is a lot of zombies lurking around out on the outer wall. And you I want also... me to silently... Oh, no, I can't. They're not strong... Yeah, my bow's not strong enough yet. I think maybe I can get it from this side. Oh, oh my fucking god, I can get it from this side. Okay, so you have to take it. Wow, that is Okay, such look, a... I'll take it from this side if you want to take it from that side, and I'll take the extra bit when it appears. At least this way I can see behind you. My only problem is I haven't actually cleared out this area, so I don't know what zombies are in here. <laughs> yeah, so you... those types. Yeah, we're having a bit of technical difficulties with landlocks, you know. I'm trying to, like, fix up our walls so that we have nice, sturdy walls. And uh, the game is just being... Well, the game's being the game. Well, that, that's really annoying. Yeah, I remember this being shit for a reason. But now that I'm looking at the wall, it's also... It's a half block. So in the future, when I want to upgrade these, I've still got to destroy the half block walls. So, 
It's frustrating because it's a 5,000 piece block and compared to the cobblestone, it's going to be so much stronger. But <laughs> to be able to have a double wall situation here in the long run, like we have to actually get rid of this and that stupid one line. Hold on. <sighs> I remember this being annoying. Okay. I do remember this being annoying. I just wanted to put the supports there for a sec. Way oh, yep. it doesn't break and fall, you know. So I've done this once before, a long time ago. And I just don't really remember it being this, but thinking back, I do remember the yellow lines being stupid. I just didn't remember how specifically. Also, Phoenix is 100% passed out on the chair beside me. He's like, he's gone into that like full limp cat stage as well. He looks pretty comfortable. Nick's chair has like this like material seat cushion on it. And I think Phoenix like derives warmth from it. Like I said, he just wanted to sit on me before for warmth, but he can't really sit up here while I stream, unfortunately. It'd be nice if he could. I just, I can't sit in a position where he can sit on me for long enough without hurting myself. Or you guys can't hear me through him because he'd like to be like, he'd like to loaf specifically where like the, the hump of his back is kind of like up around where like my mouth is. So yeah, that it's like a, what do you call it? One of those diffuser things on a microphone except excessive. It's this whole line of the wall, isn't it? Hey? It's this entire line of the wall, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah, there's also another line, probably two blocks up too, but yeah, yeah we can get to that another time. Yeah, no, I know about that one. Um, I've got three blocks high mostly around the wall, but yeah. I'll get to this one probably in like the next evening or some shit like that when I have to. So also, last time I built this type of base, I mostly built it with Nick and another friend that we had that was kind of like, would only kind of hop on every two weeks. And every time he hopped on, the base had like massively changed just because like I was always playing. And um, then when we became friends with Grim and stuff was around about this time too. And so Grim would hop on and play and 